Welcome back to the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt here on Sirius Gaming on the Death March of the Hulky. Well, let's help De and the lion with his cabaret. Right? <laughs> I probably should talk with Priscilla at one point. Wait. Yeah. I wish you luck. You're mm -hmm. needed. Did you see those poor wretches? Ah, so good to see you. You and Dudu know each other well? Yes. Though he's never told me much about himself. He was a merchant once? Mm hmm. Dudu always had a penchant for enterprise. Probably too honest to succeed in Novigrad, though. Precisely. I've told him countless times that no matter how many times he changes his appearance, the good in him will always emerge. Bloodthirsty tyrants and vicious assassins. He played them so poorly. That must be why. Whereas he always made for an excellent trusted servant or ghost of the old king. Got a request. Need to borrow one of your props. One of the swords you use for stage battles. My. Whatever do you need that for? I don't know. But Dandelion claims it's essential. Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Well. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. I'll try... Actually, you know what? Where did Dudu go to? I guess Dudu is with Dandelion? I don't know. God, help. Hmm. Ooh. Ah. Do you see what I do? Nothing works up a thirst like business. made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Are you serious? That's your brilliant plan? I never called it brilliant, but any kind of plan is better than none. Written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here, Andromask, put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Stop right there. What? What is this? Tremble, flaxen-haired wench. Um, bow before the Prince of Thieves. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I, though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. No. Not the Crimson Avenger. Silence, vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. On guard! 
I've been hit! Ow! To the house, quickly! He shan't get us there! Eternal fire, what do you want from us? Leave us be! This rogue will soon run off. I'm sure of it. He wouldn't chance getting caught by the guards. Would he? God. Really? What have I done? Helping this fucking imbecile. Christ. Hey Dandelion, can I smash your head then? Please. I would love to do so. Another drifter in from Tamaria. Carl's actually from Kedwin. I guess people could say he's from Tamaria. It's unclear actually where he his parents are from. He was born though in Kedwin, I think that's Kermoran. If I'm not mistaken. I could be. Obviously. There are the major book details, I know, the minor stuff like that kind of nonsense, I don't. There's been a misunderstanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today, so we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's rearing to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peachy. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Why are you asking me? Well, the lovely lady seems to be having a hard time deciding. And Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. But that he'd let us know just as soon as we arrived. Now we're here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now, would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dandelion would like. Get up. You've known him longer. Say something. Boudoir seems like a better fit for Cabaret. Just don't go overboard on stuffed upholstery. A wonderful choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. Well, well. Guess this cabaret's the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action. And so quickly. Who knows? Might even settle down now. I'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. <laughs> no. Really, no. We talking about the same Dandelion? Man who loses a fortune worth half of Novograd in one night. Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time, and he's never missed a performance. Sure hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. Of course. What can I do? I have to save him again.
Dandelion being a responsible person. I mean, how many women how has he cheated on? How many people has he left in the dirt? How many times has he almost gotten killed? Like, I, I mean, really responsible. Priscilla, I think I would do you a favor if I killed him for you. What's the ruckus about? Polly and her half-brained fiance. They're fighting. She's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography, and that lummox won't let her work for me. Ho ho hold on. What are you doing here? We were going to meet at the Rosemary. We were, but you didn't show. Priscilla started to worry, so I came to see how you were doing. Priscilla started worrying about me? That's so nice. Less for her than for you, I'm sure. So let's get back. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've got to help Polly. Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? No idea. Stand back. I'll break the door down. Wait! Do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. How would you know she keeps a spare key around here? It's not as if we started working together yesterday. Before Polly joined forces with Hubio... You'd visit her? Often? I'd hide out here while Priscilla and Polly rehearsed at the Rosemary in Time. They worked on the dance numbers I, I composed. So, Polly's not one of your... I never mix business and pleasure. The one exception being Priscilla. Who you were just saying is worried about us. So enough of the chatter, and start looking. Fine. Let's find the key. Find anything? Not here. And? We fix it for you? No. Ah, the key. Jonas swore it was Hattori's handiwork. And with a warranty. What a prick. Whoa! What the devil's this? Get out of my ass! Watch it, and leave the woman alone. What the f She's my betrothed! But I'm not your property! I love her! I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel! Whoa! Slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass. Shut off, or I'll split your skull. My friend asked you nicely, so please be courteous in return and hear him out, or we'll settle this another way. All right, talk. Hubio, right? Polly's told me so much about you. She said you're erudite and have an open mind. You said that? Well, there's a truth to it. My mind's the open salt. But its open saltedness ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. Get out of here, both of you. Polly's not going anywhere. Let him finish. There's no brothel involved. You see, friend, Geralt just hit the nail on the head. For what you have there is the old publicity placard. Old? Very. From a time when my establishment was under different management. I, however, would never let any indecency take place in my cabaret. My very reputation precludes it. So, what's all this about? Your betrothed is a first-class artiste, and I want to offer her a position worthy of her talents. She's to be my choreographer. And that, in turn, means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she choreographs. You mean to say, coin? And fame. No flirting required. You have my word. Oh. Suppose, in that case... I knew you'd agree. It's settled, then. See you at the Rosemary, Polly. Well, I'm off. I'll catch up to you. Whew. 
Never expected that to go so well. Could have skipped all that talking if you'd left it to me. What, so you could smack him? Stop to think how Polly'd react to that? Think she'd be thrilled? What if he smacked you back and won? He wouldn't have won. So, time to head back? I've still got to stop by Rotlex. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but Hubio came across the old version. Plowing artists got some serious explaining to do. Who's Rotlek? Never heard of him? Hank Rotlek, famous portrait artist? Commissioned a portrait artist to paint your placards? Henry's an old friend, needed the coin. And I decided we needed new placards to promote the opening performance. Seats won't fill themselves, you know. I'll go see Rotlek. You head back to the Rosemary. Priscilla will have my head. Really? You'd go? No, said that for the hell of it. Tell me where he lives. Portside. See you soon. Why am I even doing this? Oh well. Alright, I'm giving Dandelion a future, I suppose. A wife. A business. One of the wealthiest cities in the fucking world. He'll be rich. He's, he's also a count. By the way, he he, he wasn't lying to that uh, to that witcher hunter. By the way, he is actually a count. Believe it or not. Mom, where are you? Looking for Rotlick. You ain't alone. Damn halflings in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine for the carcasses picked clean. It's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding times first come, first served. Take what you want. I'm just here for some placards. You deaf. Didn't you hear, mate? This is all mine now. Fuck off, freak. <sighs> and here I thought we'd resolve this peacefully. Ah, oh, fuck it. Don't know how much Rotlick owes you, but everything in this house is mine. Wanna get something back? Try the Vagelbun estate. Rotlick's losing his last crowns at the races, I wager. Now get the hell out of it. Great, I got... Finding me proved no simple task. For having fallen afoul of Novograd's underworld bosses, I'd disappeared. Yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts, a cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard. With the help of our friends, Geralt managed to free me. Good thing. Vile strumpet tried to beguile. 
on my map. Arms for the poor. Yeah. What a smart jacket for Let's Maybe. go kill some monsters. Any meat, monster? when I grow up. Loogie, Mr. Fancy Pants. Fucking hey, <sighs> Looking. You ain't a... Take one. You... Not your lucky day. Yeah. She wasn't bloody fucking parry. I hate this writing. me proved no simple task. For having fallen afoul of Novigrad's underworld bosses. I'd disappeared, yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts, a cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard. With the help of our friends, Geralt managed to free me. Good thing to- This fighting isn't really well designed. Looking for Rodlick. You act. There's no- Take what you want. You diff. Like, there's- Problems with the fucking targeting, there's problems with fighting multiple foes. That once, well, you know, that's fighting. Come on, come closer. Hmm. Why the fuck is he spinning? This shit. You know what? I'll draw my sword. But finding me proved no simple task. For having fallen afoul of Novigrad's underworld bosses, I'd disappeared. Yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts, a cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard. With the help of our friends, Geralt managed to free me. Good thing, too. Looking. You ain't allowed. There's no. Take what you want. You. Come on, come closer. How much want to get? But finding me proved no simple task. 
For having fallen afoul of Novigrad's underworld bosses, I'd disappeared. Yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts, a cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard. With the help of our friends, Geralt managed to free me. Good thing, too. Looking for Rodlick. You ain't alone. There's not enough for everyone. You're not gonna rob. Strike! Mistake. You not with this mutant. So oh, god uh, how much wanna get So goddamn fucking frustrating simple task for having fallen afoul of Novigrad's underworld bosses I disappeared yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts a cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard with the help of our friends Geralt managed to free me good thing too all right. Looking for Rod. You ain't. There's not enough. Take what. <laughs> Bad idea. <laughs> Fucking target. What the hell, Geralt? Look at him. He's spinning around on his fucking own. Ah, fuck it. Don't know how much rope like all again. But finding me proved no simple task. For having fallen afoul of Novigrad's underworld bosses, I disappeared. Yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts, a cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard. With the help of our friends, Geralt managed to free me. Good thing, too. Looking for. You I take what you well, oh, come on. Let's end this.
Bloody. But finding me proved no simple task. For having fallen afoul of Novigrad's underworld bosses, I'd disappeared. Yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts, a cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard. With the help of our friends, Geralt managed to free me. Good thing, too. Looking for Rod. You ain't a... There's not enough for a... Take what... You... <sighs> Come on, come closer. You regret this mutant. The f slope is not helping you. The stairs are not useful. The older guy is the more dangerous one. Mistake. You'll never learn. Mistake. Tell me what you want, damn it! Placards. There ain't no plowing placards here! And Rodlick, where's he? Same place as always. Vagal Bud Estate, losing his last crowns at the races! See, wasn't that easy. Could have said so right away. No, that wasn't necessary. Using the potion, that is. I'm not just gonna let some bandits walk over me. Also, I am going to compete in the tournament in Novigrad in terms of fist fighting, so it is important that I learn how to fucking do this properly. Those 2v1 fights in close quarters, though. Fuck those. Fuck those. Look awfully suspicious to me. Maybe some horse racing. 
I don't know. Right. Those seem like the Marion guards. Or at least their livery would indicate that. Henri Rotlek, artist, painter, debtor, and martyr to my art, at your service. Dandelion sent me. Oh, yes. But tell him his placards are done and safely hidden away. Yet, alas, I cannot fetch them, as a group of angry creditors has seized my home. Think I might have run into one of them. Then you know my predicament. And now, Count de Louverton has offered me the chance to win it all back. I'm the wager on a race. Generous. Not just anybody could afford to do that. Deluverton is not just anybody. He's Duke Sam's youngest son. Sam of the well-known family of gem dealers. One debt more or less makes little difference to him. What's there to worry about? This is your chance to settle up, get a clean slate. We've had a spell of bad luck lately. Should I agree to De Louverton's offer and lose, I shall be in bondage to him for all time. Listen, all I really want are the placards. Tell me where you tucked him away and I'll be out of your hair. Forgive me, I cannot. I hid them with family heirlooms that would work those barbarians lurking outside my home into a slavering froth. Then go fetch him yourself. I'll wait here. If I show my face there without coin, they'll beat me to a pulp. I must win back my debt somehow, else I'll never return home. Let's do this. I'll enter the race. You'll bet on me, win, pay your debts, then give me the placards. You are that good a rider? Far from the worst. Go tell the Count you accept his offer. <clears throat> Washed your hair lately. Move it! Thank you. I, I never expected this. May I ask to what I owe this generosity? Let's just say I like to do a good deed from time to time. Can we get those placards now? I'll bring them to the Rosemary in time. Just as soon as I settle my obligations. Fine. See you there.
There's still plenty of stuff I need to get rid of. I'll keep the sword because I have no choice in that subject matter. Could use... Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of all of these, however. I don't change much, to be fair. Gonna get rid of those. Gonna get rid of the crossbow. That's That way it's a bit... Beyond that, well, I've got plenty of items that I should probably get rid of. Junk, mostly. Hmm. Need to think. How do I... Well, white wolf. Hmm... 74 Whew, that's heavy and I have six of them anyway well crafting components on them Pure harmony between jockey and steed You'd think them a pair of old lovers. Synergy reigns between them. Wondering if I could take part in the races. If you've coined for the rider's fee and a steed of your own, why not? Decide quickly, please. There's a race about to begin. These races. Tell me about them. They're run as per Erasmus Vagel Bud's dying wish. He came into his fortune by gambling and remained proud of the fact to the end. Family doesn't mind having a racetrack right by their house? But the house, his fortune, would not even be theirs had they not fulfilled Lord Erasmus's wish. He made it a condition. Any special rules for the races? They're as simple as Lord Erasmus was. Two competitors, simultaneous start, first to complete a lap around the track, wins. Another race. I want a race. Grand, your name and the name of your steed. Geralt of Rivia, on Roach. Excellent. Your opponent, let me see. Seamus Holt, astride Athos. Move it! Competitors, saddle up! You go your way. On three! One, two, three, off you go! That guy is a terrible rider. Anyway. I think I may have enough stamina to last me the entire race with this uh, saddle. Hey, I can thank Warhis for it. Though maybe I don't have enough stamina. What's the rush? Rush? I'm a racing woman. You only have to slow down once. There he is. Starting to catch up. You won't. I have a better horse. The final of the Erasmus Vagel Bud Memorial Derby is over. The winner is Geralt of Rivia, riding Roach. Glory to the victor! Not bad, yet we shouldn't kid ourselves. The competition was hardly stiff. Shall I sign you up for another? Is there a land where I might find more? Kind. Another race. Will you ride? Like to race again. Excellent. Don't go. The Viscount races incognito. 
So I must ask for your discretion. Viscounts. Mm. Okay. On three. One, two, three. Off you go. I didn't actually mean to slow down. They changed the track at the time. Anyway. For a fucking village. No problems, right? They're very easy to win. Hear ye, hear ye. The final of the Erasmus Vagelbad Memorial Derby is over. The winner is Geralt of Rivia, riding Roach. Glory to the victor. Bravo. Congratulations, you won in style. Shall I sign you up for another? Ah, oh, good. That's actually why I came here. Really? Rugged saddlebags, right? Kept another race. Will you ride? Want to try again? Gained an appetite, have we? Your opponent this time, Luke Vagelbud, young Lord Albert's cousin, atop succubus. He's the black sheep of the family, but he's not lost a race yet, so he's seen as something of a local champion. You'll lose. Competitors, saddle up! On three! One! Two! Three! Off you go! Ah, the rain in my face. They changed the course again. Because why not? He'll slow down eventually. I hope.
fantastic race. Congratulations, a grand victory. Is there a land where I might find more of your kind? Geralt of Rivia. Got it right. What do you want? To express my admiration on account of your victory. And here. Brought you an invitation from the boss. He'd like to congratulate you personally. Farewell. Of course, Cleaver. Hmm. Ah, good. Better saddle. Anyway. Let's see, Roach. I'll go the pack with the lion, actually. Yep. That's it, Roach. Cabaret just by the city entrance. You're a brave yeah, dandelion. But then again, it was a brothel, so. How are things, Dudu? So, so, I suppose. Might have been days in the past when I'd have said wonderful, but I can't complain. I'm in one piece, not bound to a stake atop a pyre. Dudu, tell me, the halfling Bibervelt goes from being a prosperous merchant to being a pauper. How? Prefer the long version or the short? Short, please. The war. I was under the impression merchants grow fat on wars. Some do, but I have a serious personality flaw. I'm honest. I could not reap profits from the suffering of others. I paid taxes. I never cooked my books. And then a ship full of my goods sank. I pulled through somehow, but then a second fell prey to Skelligan raiders, rendering me insolvent. When inflation hit and interest rates rose, I, at long last, fell. Gotta admit, you're a manga? It's a brilliant impersonation. Don't remind me. I'm rather disgusted. Come on, he wasn't all out terrible. You understand nothing. A Doppler assumes more than a man's external appearance. I've learned what a scoundrel had knocking about in his head. Once I became him, not an hour passed before I felt the urge to break her sorceress's fingers. After two, I caught myself lusting to impale someone, and immediately after that, it hit me. The paranoid fear of a Doppler conspiracy. Ever considered leaving? Forgetting Novigrad altogether? What for? To pass from the frying pan into the fire? The war's not yet crept here. Famine's not kicked at our door. Not that the future's looking rosy. But you don't have to be human. Maybe you could try something else. I've assumed many forms over the years, and in spite of all, life as a human has proven most interesting. After all, you humans rule the world. Take care of yourself, Dudu. Oh, those bigots haven't the cunning to strip me of this mask. Well, well. See, the crew's been hard at work. Not bad. No, no, not all. But I'd imagine something more, you know, more theatrical. What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great! The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. What about choreography? 
prepared anything special for the opening? We haven't. But Polly has. She's priceless. Came in and brought the girls in line before I could say knickers. That mirror will have the audience on their feet, on their knees, both at the same time. Never mentioned wanting to change the name. Rosemary and Time wasn't all bad, but it conjured images of Tamarian cuisine served by waitresses in peasant garb. Chameleon's a lot better for a cabaret, apart from which it emphasizes that the place has undergone a transformation. Just a better ring to it all round. Guess everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home for my dress. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Why not? That's my boy. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He saw right. And... She say anything about me? She said something that made me think she's not entirely normal. What? That you're responsible. Got your feet planted firmly on the ground. You're pulling my leg. Not this time. Even One he needs a drink. Me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Oh, wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't? Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? She's late, of course. She knew how important this night was to me. Of course she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. Takes time, you know. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. <laughs> Master Dandelion! Priscilla! She's... What? Speak, man! She's badly, uh, been attacked! They, they took her to Vomerius Hospital! Attacked? She's hurt? Geralt, come with me, please. Of course, let's go. Gods. Priscilla. Is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. I beg your pardon, but you are a relative? Relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Gratz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and scalding inside the throat and esophagus. Clearly someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. So this was no ordinary attack, no robbery. Clearly not. It was the act of a demented mind, and not its first. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? In fact, just this week a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. No heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Geralt, I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. Find the bastard who did this. Find him. And kill him. Don't need any convincing. Come on, Dandelion. Let's think about what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Doing so could very well provide some clues. No need to look astonished, gentlemen. 
As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Rather than wait for this maniac to strike again, I'd prefer to excise him. Not unlike a tumor. Great analogy, but this tumor is not gonna sit there, wait to be excised. Appreciate the help, but I doubt you know what you're getting yourself into. I know perfectly well, and I assure you I can take care of myself. Easy assurance to make. Harder to back up, especially if you've spent your whole life wielding a scalpel, not a sword. Look at this scar. Don't be shy. Any idea what leaves such a mark? A flail. Morningstar, maybe. What do you think? A blow sustained at the operating table? No. Let me repeat, I know what I'm doing, and I wish to help. Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. But you can also get inside through the sewers. The sewers? Travel them often, Doctor? As often as required for, uh, the pursuit of preventive medicine. Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? No. Need to tend to something first. In that case, we shall meet by the Kingfisher. I'll await you there. I'll get whoever did this, Dandelion. Even if it's Hierarch Hemelfart himself. Thanks. Questine here on Serious Gaming, signing out.